Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Wow, I got a beautiful view right here, right? It's pretty. Let me show you. Very nice view. Yeah, so. And that's down there. Don't want to drop my phone, but that's down the street. Okay. But this is what I like. Right over there. Yes. Okay, guys. So, just to give you a quick update on Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt is doing well. He's doing really well. He has recovered. I was expecting him to recover so quickly. But thank God he has recovered good. He's back in school and he will be starting therapy next week. Yes, all his therapies. The doctor said he's good. We did the two weeks follow up the other day. So he's ready to go back to his normal routine. But let me tell you something. He's been um he's been at his normal routine like not saturday the saturday he came out of the hospital the sunday i literally tried to put him on the settee with a nice little comfy cushion and you know put a little sheet over him and stuff i hear matthew just said down down i want to go down <laughs> and i said hold on matthew i'll put you down um soon and by the time i finish doing what i was doing matthew was on the ground <laughs> so yes he's doing well unfortunately they had to put in a shunt in his in his head guys so yes that's where it is i'm not a big fan of the shunt because of all the mishaps that can happen right it can you know malfunction in terms of it get blocked infection and of course as it gets bigger you will need to do other surgery to extend the tubing to extend the tubing in there so yeah i just want to come on here and let you know that it's good thank you for everything thank you for all the well wishes you know i wasn't able to get to everybody directly talk to everyone but i saw the comments and i also got the whatsapp messages so thank you it really helped a lot of my friends people that i've met over the years they asked me how i do it but to tell you the truth it's like I'm just going through the motion. I just take it as it comes because I've learned from a very early stage that kids like these, there's always something, you know, there's there's something that gonna get thrown at you or at them. And yeah, I just, I don't know guys, I just really, it's almost like I'm a robot. I just move as it goes or as it comes, right? But I know that it is going to happen or things like this do happen. So I just keep optimistic. But I, I have to say, it's very hard though. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. It's hard but when you're in it and you know that you have to do what you got to do then it's almost like your body goes through the motion you know it becomes routine because my life has always been like this when i gave birth to him it was surgery the following day <laughs> then a couple months later it was surgery again another time he had to go back in the hospital because one of the the, the, the wound was not healing properly and that was that so it's always something then every appointment that i will go to is like there's another follow-up for something you know you got to do an x-ray for this you got to do like an mri to make sure everything is okay so my life has been like this it's almost like it's normal but 
nothing about this is normal right but anyhow i just thank god for everything for all the strength that he has um given me and all the support i thank him every day and i thank friends and families that stand by me and help to keep me strong help to um, encourage me and let me keep my feet because sometimes sometimes i tell you i am lost i am weak it's almost like i am not even in this world you know so yeah Anyhow guys, I hope you have a blessed day and thank you for tuning in. Bye.